a Pelton type turbine was installed 30 meters below the gates of the penstock. So that sounds like our static elevation. The head loss due to friction is 12% of the given elevation. So H sub F is equal to 12% of our static head and uh, 0.12 times 30 meters is 26.4. The length of penstock is 100 meters. And the Morse coefficient of friction is 0 0.0093. 0 0.093. And we are asked to determine the power output in kilowatts. So that is our water power in kilowatts. Use the Morse equation, which we already have here. So, okay. So to to find our power output, we know that WP is equal to gamma times the volumetric flow rate Q times the total dynamic head. And this is simply 9.81. So we need to find our Q and our TDH. So TDH can easily be found by subtracting the friction head from the static head. Static head. This. So this is 30. And uh, this is, um, what was it? 3.6. So this is actually incorrect. Sorry about that. This should be 3.6 meters. And the TDH is 26.4 meters. All right, so now we have our TDH. Now we need to find our Q. Q is equal to the area normal to the flow times the velocity of the flow. And the area is circular. So pi over 4 d squared is the formula for that multiplied by the velocity. So we can actually find our velocity using this equation. So in this case, our h is simply our TDH. So we put that there. 26.4 and uh, that should return a value of 22.76 meters per second. So we now have our velocity of flow. Still need to find our pen stop diameter. In order to find that, we can use our Morse equation. So h sub f is equal to 2 times Morse coefficient of friction times length of the pen stop times diameter or rather times the velocity of flow squared over the gravitational acceleration times uh, diameter of our pen stock. So HF is 3.6 meters. Friction factor is 0 0.00093. The length of a pen stock is given, which is 100 meters. And finally, our V is right here, 22.76 meters per second. So we can use shift solve in order to find our diameter, pen stop diameter. And if you shift solve that, it should return a value of 2.73 meters. So now we have this as well. You can simply put the values in for our volumetric flow rate formula. And calculating for that, we should get a value of 133.23 meters per second. 
Okay, so now we have everything we need to find our power output in kilowatts. So simply put the values in. And this and put in our calculator should be around 34,500. And in the choices, the closest is D. So we can say that it is approximately equal to that in kilowatts. And that is our final answer. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if this helps you, and good luck.